Twig Dance Plug. How are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm excellent, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excellent. I'm still buzzing from the night, you know? What was your favorite piece? Favorite piece? Man, I love that. I love that that robot piece. I, I think I love that piece because I just want, I just wanted to be in it. It looks I do. I, I wanted you to wanted be in it. You wanted to be a it. superhero all yeah, the time. Yeah, always. And I was just like, oh, I wanted to be in that piece so well, bad. Sure, I like, love that do piece. Do a few little you know robot. I mean? You can do it. I, I I can, but you know what? In respect of the robots that just that just <laughs> blessed it tonight, I'm gonna leave it alone because they really just they they own that. And I mean the contemporary pieces tonight with uh with Yaya. And uh, Neptune, man, they, they just reached a level of emotional connection that, you know, that, that just speaks volumes for how, how hard Team Street can work, man. Which is crazy. And you're their yeah. mentor. That's a big responsibility for you as well. Absolutely, man. And I'm, I'm, the, honestly, I'm just glad that they are open to hearing my opinion about anything because you can also go through you know situations like this and just be like okay i got it like what whatever like you had your experience i'm going to have mine whatever and i'm i'm glad that they're uh, that they're open and they and they want advice sometimes and they're open to the things i have to say of course and and back when you were on the show do you think if you had a mentor it would have helped you as well oh, yes <laughs> we I think we, we really wanted a mentor back in the day, you know, so, which is why we talked to those that were on previous seasons. I remember talking to Travis. I remember talking to Travis when I was competing. I remember talking to Ivan uh, when I was competing, um, you know, just asking him, you know, what it's like to go week to week because it's crazy, man. It is. It is. It's, it, the emotions that you go through. It's crazy. You know, well, and you have to watch each piece and then help them mentally physically with the dance exactly. with with what's going on in their head because it's a lot of pressure oh yeah it's a lot it's a lot of pressure but you know i'm here uh as as a shoulder you know or just the ear if they need to vent and also just to be to be that eye and that ear you know to to remind them of the things that the judges are saying to um to to give them little pep talks if they need it and to, and you know just help them have the, the most optimum experience they can have Wow, and optimal experience, sorry, <laughs> optimal experience. Dance plug, we got you. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, they're going to kill me on YouTube for that. The comments going to be like, Twitch cannot speak. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, are you allowed to talk to the dancers off and on camera, or is it just very strict, like, here's five minutes to give them advice, go? No, honestly, you know what? I'm glad you asked that because uh, I'm actually very uh, particular about having some off-camera dialogue with them because the thing is, I also don't want to give the impression that everything that I'm saying to them is for an on-camera performance. So a lot of the things that I have to say to, say to them are actually off-camera so I can speak as real as possible and then also let them know that everything that I'm saying is actually real talk and not put on for, uh, for our television show. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. And so with each of them, do you give them each kind of the same amount of time obviously every personality is different right yeah I did. yeah of course absolutely because i mean when i'm here i'm here i'm, I'm here all day so if, if any of them have a question they come up and talk to me when they finish uh you know rehearsing the routine and come off the stage i go up and talk to them you know and uh, yeah I'm, I'm i'm there for them man that's what i'm here for you know i'm here for them like their friend father supporter <laughs> yeah, I'm about father. hero <laughs> no, friend yeah friend <laughs> Brother, you know, it's yeah, man, I'm, I'm here for them, man. This is this is literally the best position that I've that I've ever experienced through my So You Think You Can Dance experience, man. Everything that I've done uh, before this has added up for me to do this. You know, it really has. It's, it's an incredible experience. And you're going to continue this amazing journey. I of love course. it. And why I said father is because I heard you want like seven kids, you and Allison, one oh, day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But but notice that I that, that that I say I want seven kids, but it's because I'm not having them. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy for me to be like, yeah, let's start a tribe, babe. But I don't have to actually go through that pain. You know what I'm saying? So you know, realistically, you know, it's probably not gonna be seven because you know they don't they don't just appear. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, right now you got 17 human beings to worry about, exactly. and that'll be good for now. That'll be good for now, exactly. <laughs>